Yeah, no, exactly, yeah. Um, I'll tell you what I do want to talk about because this was very good. Uh, uh, right, okay. It's, it's probably going to say some spoilers, but I did see this week Pimble, the man who saved the game. The trailer I got for this the came trailer out, looked good. The looked trailer good. came out the same time as the trailer for Tetris. Now, I saw Tetris as well, which I thought genuinely was excellent absolutely brilliant it was really well done it was such a bizarre weird film but i to me this was kind of the whole hollywood doing a duo type thing you know the origins of tetris the origins of, of pinball and the the story of pinball was it was originally a game where you just you had a plunger and you would fire the ball and it would just bounce around and land in different things for scores until somebody added flippers to it and then that became more of a game of of, of skill but it was banned in New York because it was considered gambling. Um, even though, you know, people didn't, you didn't win any money, people would bet on the outcome of it. And this one guy found that it's not about luck of where the ball goes. You can play the game as long as you like. If you have the skill, you can hit which buttons and so forth, whatever you like. But the way the t story was told, it was brilliantly done because... Just reading the comments. Um, the, it was brilliantly done because you had this older actor playing the real Roger Star Sharp, who was this guy. And every now and then, in the flashbacks of what was happening is, everything would kind of carry on, but then it would come back to this modern-day Roger who would sort of say, no, 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 that's not quite what happened. You're, you're sensationalising it a little bit there. What he actually said was so-and-so and so-and-so. And so. My favourite part was um, he, uh, this one guy says comes up to Roger and he says oh yeah this, this gambling thing's a whole thing it's a load of mother and it cuts back to Roger and he goes oh uh can we swear in this and the the cameraman sort of goes oh we're going for a PG-13 so how many am I allowed just one okay I'll save this one and it goes back and he says mother flipping so and so <laughs> and, and and like I say there was just this little the way it was done as a um in this documentary style with these flashbacks it was just it was and it was really fascinating it was i really really enjoyed it i it's funny i the, one of the youtube channels i subscribe to is called weird history and he usually has these 10 15 minute blurbs about something interesting in history that happened and it could be anything it's you know yeah, but I just find them interesting, you know. And I believe yeah. he did one not that long ago about how why pinball was illegal forever in New York, not everywhere else, okay. just in New York, as I understand it. And that this and this guy who was able to, you know, show the skill of using the flippers yeah. with pinball and, and bringing it back. And then you know, like. Two, I'm guessing that the, the weird history guy knew that they were making this movie, so maybe he decided to, you know, cash in on the clicks on that. But um, what a horse! You know, uh, we're all slaves to the machine. <laughs> you <laughs> thought the Matrix was fiction, uh, <laughs> so we we, uh, yeah, I I thought that's that's a pretty cool story. Then I saw they're making a movie out of it. I was like, yeah, and I need to watch the Tetris one because I know you you and others have spoken pretty highly of it. I was getting a little like, oh, they're going to do one about BlackBerry phones. Are you kidding me with this? <laughs> <You know? laughs> it, but again, it's, it's like with the whole Tetris thing. I just thought to myself, well, some bloke wrote a film, you know, wrote a game and, and sold it. And but it was it turned into sort of more like a an espionage thriller. And in fact, I'd say an, exp an espionage thriller, which was better than some some James Bonds. <laughs> Some of the some of the James Bond, and it was just like I say, it was really well done. The way it was just played out. I do like Taron Egerton. Um, I will always give the guy the benefit of the doubt. Uh, I, I, I mean, it's probably not a big one for you over there, but he did like Eddie the Eagle, which yeah, is the I true life story. That was great. Because over here, Eddie the Eagle is like a national treasure. The guy's the guy's brilliant. Um, <laughs> it was a, it was a big deal over here during that Olympics. I remember it was the eighty eight Olympics. I think. Um, yeah. King Kong and was I a good remember, documentary. <laughs> he, he, he was, he was, the, the whole Eddie the Eagle thing was kind of a, a big feel good story in the coverage yeah. here. They were talking Underdog about and so all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, it was a bigger deal for you guys, but it, it was something that we, there was a lot of people that were kind of cheering for him over here, including myself. Oh, all right, fair enough. Um, and so, for, so like I say, I'll give Taron Egerton the, the benefit of the doubt. He did do Robin Hood, which was 
awful. Um, I mean, I couldn't tell you a thing about it now. But I mean, like I say, he has done stuff like Kingsman and that kind of thing. So like I say, I'll always give him the benefit of the doubt. And he played just this cheeky chappy in this film who was trying to buy the game from the Soviets at the height of, of the KGB and all this kind of stuff. And, and in some places, it, it was kind of weird because there was very different tones to the to the movie that some of it is quite lighthearted and you're laughing. And then there's a moment where one of the KGB threatens to throw a man's son out of a window. And it's like, this is a bit dark. <laughs> you know, it's like, I thought this was like quite lighthearted or whatever. And it's kind of like, uh, I'm hoping if he does throw him out the window, he's going to land like this and then four blocks are going to disappear. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you know, just to make it... Um, <laughs> um, what do you mean you hate... Sorry, you you hate feel good movies. That's no, feel good. You you shouldn't. That's a very that's a very um, bad thing don't, to say. Don't watch Schindler's List then. <laughs> um, I must admit, I do like a story with a twist at the end kind of thing like that. But however, no, the the occasional feel good movie is nothing wrong with that. It's it's highly entertaining. So no, like I say, I would I would highly recommend Pinball, the man who saved the game. It yeah. was interesting. To, I did also like, and this is unbelievably shallow, but I don't care. Uh, Crystal Reed was in it. Now, Crystal Reed sounds like a stripper. <laughs> and next on the stage is Crystal Reed. Um, but she, her character in it was just ah, oh, I fell in love with her. She was she was lovely in it. But just the whole film is just it is a very good film, and I do highly recommend it. Highly recommend. It. Uh, uh, yeah, I'll give it a shot. Thank you for watching this excerpt from outpost frequencies tune in live every sunday at noon central time or six o'clock uk time and also remember to come to lastmovieoutpost.com for all your latest in movie news streaming news and everything cool about film we are the cool news now thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next stream